When crime hits your community, you want it solved. Sometimes police don't solve the crimes, but what if your neighborhood was lined with cameras as a way to combat and help police solve them? In a special report on the Magic City, CBS 42 News reporter Stefan Dingle joins us now in the studio. He's been working on this report for months. It's about a potential grassroots solution to the crime problem in our area. Stefan? Sherry, good evening. Here in Birmingham, we have seen a number of pleas to stop the violence. From politicians, law enforcement, and of course, our everyday citizens. But as we've seen, it continues. Tonight, we explore a potential solution, one that involves the watchful eye of technology and putting the power back into the community's hands, one corner at a time. 45, 26, Adam. Armed robberies, senseless shootings, the number of homicides growing in Alabama's largest city. But that's not all. Firefighters on high alert. While arsonists set vacant homes ablaze in Ensley. All crimes that have stained neighborhoods both east and west of the city's downtown. Where we've worked, where the officers have been able to better get to know the, the residents. Andre Watson works with the city of Birmingham for their community policing revitalization. Combat some of the crime and at the same time build some real strong relationships with the community. Because crime comes in many forms. Crime has no color. Uh, it doesn't matter who you are or where you live. Um, there's always going to be an element of crime in your area. In areas like Woodlawn, Inslee, and right here in West End, an extra set of watchful eyes could help stop crime. A possible solution are cameras monitoring these communities both day and night. Baby, these cameras could stop drug dealing, number one. Stop the drug drops. Catch the drug dealers. By having cameras, I think this gives us that extra edge to be able to um, provide that information, just that, that 30 second snippet of somebody that's doing something illegal. An edge that some neighborhoods in Memphis, Tennessee understand. The fact is, is that the criminals cannot live without us, but we can live without the criminals. A city similar to Birmingham with its fair share of crime. I don't want to be 70 years old chasing a crackhead down the street. Aaron James, a Memphis native, found a grassroots way to tackle violence in his Cooper Young neighborhood. We have cameras at this intersection. He created a community camera network. We now have cameras at this intersection. At $130 a pop, if your people on your block can come together and buy one, buy that camera. Point it at the drug house on your block. Coverage from one end to the other. They'll scurry. They'll run off. Surveillance video shows an attempted carjacking. And they deploy those in the highest hot spots for crime. Leaving a small chance. No one can enter or exit that way without being on a camera. For crime to happen without these extra eyes watching above, a neighborhood focusing its efforts one lens at a time. As 18 year Memphis resident Terry Lawrence cleans his yard. Bad guys don't like light and they don't like cameras. He agrees that cameras work. Because that camera right there captures the footage of four bad guys casing our street and breaking into my neighbor's house. The detectives came through and viewed the footage. Uh, they were able to make a, an arrest the next day. Without that footage, it wouldn't have happened. So when going up the ladder, you want to go up securely. IT specialist Freddie Mack helps with installation. Mount the camera, provide power to it, adjust it. Just that simple. Use the footage on here, and as you can see, I can see you on the camera zoomed in. If you have repeat criminals, once they know the cameras are in place and then law enforcement can actually catch them in a timely manner, crime reduces. Back here in Birmingham. The idea could be a potential game changer for residents that have long searched for additional crime fighting options, bringing back positive news for communities. I feel it would make a great difference. With an affordable option to help police. After seeing what they're doing in Memphis, I thought that it might be a great opportunity for us to bring that here to Birmingham. So I've talked to a number of the residents in the community. They're really excited about it. We are the eyes and ears for the policeman and a click of a radio. And the camera is there. You do it, the camera got you. So I feel we can connect as one, the camera and citizen on patrol. Now, since we've reported this story, lots of progress has been made in bringing that grassroots effort right here to the Magic City. And now it has a name. 
eyes wide open. Coming up tomorrow night, I'll tell you more about the town hall that was held right here in Birmingham and Mayor William Bell's push to fund and implement this program across the city. Live in the studio tonight, Spawn, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.